Denise Richards has reportedly been living in rental homes with her husband Aaron Fipers and her daughters for the last few years. Since her beachfront Malibu abode was impacted by the California wildfires, she went on to rent another home nearby. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star said on the show last year, after months of living in hotels, we're back in Malibu leasing this house. It's on over two acres and it's a beachy feel even though we're not on the beach. Today we'll take a look at where Denise calls home and just wait till you hear the price of her monthly rent bills. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Denise Richards is an actress, former model and TV personality whose most recognized roles included starring as Kelly in Wild Things and Carmen in Starship Troopers. Aside from appearing in other films and TV, more recently she is well known for starring on the hit reality series The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Sadly, for those fans of Denise on the show, it was announced last year she wouldn't be returning for the following season. The drama around Denise during The Real Housewives 10th season definitely fueled the ratings, but the actress was clearly miserable in the process, having nearly the whole cast gang up on her. Either way, haters can hate, but Denise is doing well for herself with an estimated net worth of around $12 million and having owned upscale properties in Hidden Hills and Malibu over the years. When she's renting, she and her family only live at the best, including a property right on the beach. Once we check out her homes, you'll see how nice they really are. Welcome back everyone, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this one looking at where Denise Richards calls home. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new content daily. If you like this video, check out other recent drops on the likes of Teddy Mellencamp and Doree Kemsley, which we'll link to at the end. As always, you can follow me over on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Let's first take a look at one of her former homes. After her nasty split with ex-husband Charlie Sheen in 2007, Denise not only purchased an elaborate Hidden Hills mansion for $4.4 million, but she proceeded to fork out an additional one mil for renovations. So no wonder it came as a huge blow when she listed the home back in 2015 for $7.75 million with absolutely no takers. Denise would eventually have to settle for $4.8 million in 2018, which is a huge loss considering all the work she put in. Located in the guard-gated community in the Santa Monica Mountains region of Los Angeles County, Hidden Hills is the area notable for being home to many actors and celebrities. I mean, the wealthiest ones love to brag that they live in Hidden Hills, it seems. Denise's abode was built in 1991 and measured 8,200 square feet with six bedrooms and eight bathrooms throughout. The actress's flashy fashion sense is on display right from the get-go, with a charming rustic gate that opens to a circular driveway with a carefully manicured landscape. The grand entrance has a spiraling staircase accented with leopard print, an elaborate chandelier, and a lush white sofa planted below. Whether you consider yourself a cook or not, there's an Eden Gourmet kitchen equipped with gorgeous U-shaped island, seating, stainless steel appliances, and even a pizza oven. It's enough to impress anyone, and in addition, the kitchen features a double-sized refrigerator, oversized gas stove with breakfast nook, and large windows looking out to the backyard. If I were Denise, I would have learned to make pizza just to use that oven and impress my guess. One of the most intriguing rooms in this house was the dark and dramatic living room which gave off a hotel lobby vibe. I seriously loved it since it was decked out in some of my favorite colors including black walls, a massive marble fireplace, red drapes and more red accents, as well as glass top tables. You'll be happy to know the living space boasts a wet bar too. Just look at that setup. I'm not sure if I want to grab a seat and relax there or find the concierge and book a room for the night. There's a formal dining room draped in purple and gold with custom details including a crystal chandelier and crystal candle holders, and Denise also remodeled, adding a wine room with temperature controlled glass enclosed walls and a fireplace to sit beside. Now, Denise's home gets even better with this next feature. I don't know if she loves wine or dogs more, but the villa featured its very own room for grooming dogs, complete with built in kennels. I mean, my pups would love this spa. Equally impressive is her former master bedroom that came together with a sitting area, floor to ceiling tufted gold headboard on the bed, and a TV lift cabinet for movie marathon. This space is nicely touched with palatial walk-in closet, 
sleek fireplace as well, silver cabinets, and built-in red velvet chairs. It's honestly one of the nicest celebrity closets I've seen. And just when you thought that was it, the master bath had dual sinks, a clawfoot soaking tub with views of the grounds, and a large marble shower. Okay. As beautiful as the interior of the mansion is, the exterior may take the cake of this house tour. Denise's backyard features a colossal covered patio with a second wood-fired pizza oven. She must really love her pizza and I don't blame her. A gas barbecue and multiple lounging areas. Additionally, the backyard has not one but two walk-in swimming pools complete with a grotto, waterfall, and water slide. Even more to add to the list, the backyard setup also boasts an additional wet bar, fire pits, and kitchenette with panoramic views. In the end, Denise was happy to unload the home as she had lived there on and off over the years. In fact, the home was a nice spot for the newly single Angelina Jolie, who had reportedly been renting this place after her split with Brad Pitt for a modest $30,000 a month in 2016. In February of 2020, the home was listed back on the market for sale at around $7.9 million. After unloading her Hidden Hills estate, Denise Richards and her husband Aaron moved on to Malibu. In 2018, the couple moved into this stunning beachfront Malibu house, a two-story property with almost 3,100 square feet, three bedrooms, and three bathrooms. Not to mention there was additional detached studio-style bedroom and bathroom separated from the main home by a wind-protected interior courtyard. Curious what a luxury oceanfront property in Malibu goes for? Well, Denise and Aaron were leasing the place for a modest $17,500 per month. The airy rental estate was a change for Denise considering it has a more laid back style than her Hidden Hills property, but it was a beautiful family home as well. Her beachfront getaway contained a living and dining room combo that spanned the width of the house with bright white walls, chocolate brown floor tiles, and a cozy fireplace. One of the selling points of the home has to be the full height glass sliders that open to a covered oceanfront terrace with raised sunbathing deck, but more on that in a minute. While the main living area can really open up to the ocean breeze, the the kitchen is slightly cozier. The all-white galley kitchen was packed with sub-zero appliances, an ample cabinet space, but no pizza oven, so I wonder how Denise managed. Upstairs, the second level master suite had a vaulted exposed wood ceiling and a cozy fireplace with wall of glass that led to a private deck with views of the mountain coastline. Additionally, Denise's ensuite bathroom had soaring ceilings, a large glass shower, and more ocean views. Walking outside, the yard space is a treat. The first floor suite opens to a sunny courtyard that has both a dining and lounging area with a kitchenette and full bath area. Another oceanfront terrace is made up of plush chairs, a barbecue area, fire pits, and even a wet bar if you're entertaining. Now, Denise didn't have a pool at this property, which may have sucked since she had two at her Hidden Hills home, but let's not forget she has nature's pool in her backyard. She was a few steps from some of the most exclusive Malibu beachfront on the planet, so you can't complain. Back in 2020, Denise gave Real Housewives of Beverly Hills a glimpse of her new Malibu rental home. Unfortunately, Denise and her husband were forced to rent a different Malibu property following the devastating California wildfires. After months of hotel living, the couple had no choice but to pack up and move again after the house flooded. Denise had given fans a peek at highlights of the home, including a ton of outdoor space, the expansive living room, sleek kitchen, and a gorgeous wraparound porch with full table and lighting space. Set up. The dining and living room spaces are decorated with a rustic table, beige and gray furniture, fireplace, and flat screen TV. More recently, Denise shared another look at her living room space on Instagram while she was crediting her furniture company. This photo showed a cream and black rug on the floor and a large white fireplace that's the focal point of the room with two alcoves on the sides holding circular side tables. It looks cozy for sure. Then her open kitchen includes gray cabinets and oversized windows separated from the dining and living spaces with a deluxe island. Not much else is known about this new spot, but early photos look pretty promising. And by no means is this residence a downgrade. So now we've come to the end of our Denise Richards house tour. You may miss her on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, but she's no doubt enjoying her time away from the drama at her relaxing Malibu beachfront home. I guess since she's been renting for a while now, we'll have to wait and see where she and her husband purchase next. After checking out Denise's homes, including her former Hidden Hills mansion and her Malibu rental, which did you prefer? Did you like the elegant vibe of the first home or the more laid back beach feel of the Malibu property? I'm more of a pool girl than a beach girl, so while those ocean views are tempting, I would forego the sand 
and take the first home with the two pools in the grotto. What about you guys, beach or pool? Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Denise's homes down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will catch you guys all in the next video. Bye.